All right, dude. I hit my shit on something. All right. Hello. So we want to do something different. Uh, we wanted to introduce ourselves because we've been doing, I think we have 15 videos out after the one that's going to post tonight. Um, and we really haven't talked much about who we are. So Christina and I did a couple things on Instagram. We had people ask questions. We went through and we picked out one enough. We picked out the ones that uh, we thought were the best. Yes, the best ones to answer. And so that's what we're going to do. Starting from the top, what are our ages? I am 29, about to be the big old three Dirty zero. Party. That's right. In two months. And she's 21. I'm 25. <laughs> Just kidding. She's 25. <laughs> what got you into fitness? You can go first. All right. So growing up, I played sports. Everything from swimming, baseball, basketball. I played one season of football. Nix that. <laughs> um, played a little bit of soccer. Nix that. Too much running. Um, I was always short, and so I was, you know, I was in, I was in good, good shape and athletic build. And then I grew. When I grew, I became a very tall, skinny boy. And my dad actually told me one day that I should start lifting some weights here and there. It helped me get better at baseball and basketball. I met some people who were playing football and they knew a little more about gym routines and that's what actually got me, that's what got me into fitness. <laughs> sports. Sports. <laughs> you could have said sports. Sorry. <laughs> that's okay. What got you into fitness? Sports. <laughs> Long story short. Um, okay, what got me into fitness was my junior, I think it was my junior year of high school, I took a weightlifting and conditioning class at Manchester. Mm. And Mr. Saunders taught it. And it was literally, I think, four females and the rest were males, like baseball players, football players. And it was a lot of fun. I bet so, it was. You, you, you did it for the dudes. No, I didn't do it for the dudes. <laughs> um, but actually, no, that had to be my sophomore year. Because then when I turned 16, I got a gym membership for my birthday. And then I just kept going. And then I went from AmFam to Golds to CrossFit, back to Golds. And now I'm still doing CrossFit at Gold sometimes, but mostly bodybuilding. CrossFit based training. Mm hmm. Hey, what keeps you motivated? All right. The gains. The gains? The gains. But here's the thing. All right. I enjoy the gym. I enjoy working out. I enjoy the sport of fitness, if you will. And that is enough to keep me motivated. The fact that I just enjoy doing it. It's like someone who enjoys going snowboarding or someone who enjoys rollerblading down the boulevard in high shorts, right? They do it because they like to do it. That's all the motivation I need. My motivation is mostly just seeing how far I am from my goals and not because I'm reaching for an unattainable goal, but mainly because the better that I get and the more improved that I get, the further or the more, I don't know, challenging my goal becomes to reach just because I want to be better and better and better. Um, but I always just enjoy working out. I never regret working out, that's for sure. So I'll just always do it. Do it. Do it. What are your fitness goals for 2019? I'm trying to be the fittest I've ever been this year. In looks or like the whole spectrum? The whole spectrum. I want to run... Oh, I don't know if I want to say that. My fastest mile is like 8.30, I think, and I was going to say I want to run faster than that, but not necessarily. That makes it easy, though. You could run 8.29, you still succeed. Yeah, but then I still have to run a mile. I don't want to do that. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what are your fitness goals? I want to weigh 220 pounds, and I want to look bigger and more cut than I have ever. Oh, you're already there. No. I weigh 210 to 212.4 pounds. But. What was your heaviest? 225? Two. No, I hit 217 once. And that was. Was that when you took that picture in your cutoff in your parents' garage? The double bicep one? 
I don't even remember that one. In my garage? Yeah. Pretty sure it's on Instagram. Hmm. I think that's the biggest that you've ever looked back then. Moving on. We're going to find it. <laughs> All right. What's the dumbest thing you've ever done in the gym? I don't... The dumbest thing I've ever done in the gym. I asked Matt Lynn to <laughs> spot me one time <laughs> at 365 pounds on a back squat. The dumbest but you thing also didn't I've have ever things done. On. No. <laughs> but me asking him to spot me. Matt, dude. Wherever you are. Hey, bro. No hate. Just... Yep, dumbest thing. <laughs> I don't know what the dumbest thing I've ever done in the gym is. I mean, I've done a pretty dumb thing, but it wasn't working out related. Well, so you've done nothing. That's all right. We can move on from there. Okay. How many jobs have you had? Can you count on your hand? I can. I cannot. I, I can count on multiple hands how many jobs I've had. Um, I've had five. I worked at a daycare. I stocked shelves for this company called ASAP. Um, I was a physical therapist tech. And I'm a physical therapist assistant. And I also used to own my own detailing company called Ninja Detailing. That's it? That's it. I worked for Applebee's, Stayed Away, <laughs> Wing Command, Topeka's, Dave's Auto Spa. Six months later. In store software solutions, <laughs> custom chrome, nine rounds, golds. Mm, golds again. Different jobs. Or, yeah. Different jobs. Yeah. Ortho Virginia. Um, and then goals again now. 22. <laughs> I All think right. that's it. <laughs> Alright. Um, Why two dogs? What a great question. Why not two dogs? Why so, not five dogs? No. No. I'm just kidding. Two is two great. Two is great. Two is really good. So we got Nala. She's two now. Nala. And granted, we both have full-time jobs. And so we did feel a little bad... You know, she was crated when we lived in the apartment, and then we got to the house. Um, she was pretty good, so she was able to stay out. So at least she could roam around. And my dad was coming over at lunchtime, so she was getting out in the morning and during the day, and then at night. And then we'd play with her, and then she, she would stay out. But Christina finally broke me and asked me to get another one because she, they need companions. And it's nice. Like, Juno has Nala all day long and Nala has Juno all day long and I guarantee you if there was a camera in here outside of them breaking into our guest bedroom and eating five pounds of dog food and we're not home <laughs> I'm sure they have a blast I like to picture them having so much fun yes I think they actually talk when we're gone and they also grow opposable thumbs because I don't know how they keep getting into some of the rooms they keep getting into yeah so or finding things I don't know where they find them kind of did really well that's right um <laughs> Favorite cheat meal. Favorite cheat meal. Pizza. Pizza. <laughs> All day. What was for you? I don't have a, I don't think I have a favorite. Mm. Well, let me, let me try. right now I'm not on a strict diet. So like if I, if I wanted to go get Wendy's, I don't look at that as a cheat meal. If I wanted to go to Five Guys or that's like the same thing. If I wanted to go to Jersey Mike's or if I wanted to go to Panera, I just, I just eat it. I don't, I don't look at anything as a cheat meal. But when I do get on a stricter diet plan, which is coming, um, and I had to pick Don't one, know. it probably would be Wendy's. Mm -hmm. That's what Wendy's, I was going to say for you. For sure. I keep that place running. Also, I don't like the word cheat meal. I mean the words cheat meal. Treat yeah. meal. Treat meal. More like it. <laughs> Treat, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think sometimes people get caught up. They're like, oh, this is my cheat meal. Well, I'm like, that's cool. Like, I think everyone deserves a cheat meal, but at the same time, people don't realize that one meal could throw you off so drastically, like throw your central nervous system off and what's going on in your stomach that you kind of, like your body freaks out. That's another thing for another time. <laughs> ben Bergeron. Da, da, da. That's right. <laughs> when will the shed be built? <laughs> We're hanging out, dude. <laughs> We're basically waiting for our carpenter slash contractor to just have enough time um, to dedicate a good amount of time to it we have the money we have all of the money for it and 
a massive amount for getting a good start for the equipment that we want to put in it, right. including the flooring, which is going to be very expensive as well. But, um, but we also haven't talked about that. So originally we were looking into like a big flooring company to find flooring from, because I think we just kind of assumed that we need like a, a big bleep in tractor trailer to come in here with, <laughs> with, um, like big rolls of mats and stuff for us, which was going to be over a thousand dollars, including shipping. Well, it was actually going to be more than that. Well, like uh, 1600, I thought. Yeah, because it's like all, all the estimates we've gotten have been $800 to $900 for one Just, piece or multiple pieces. And then it's almost the same exact price or for, more yeah. just to ship it because it's right. so heavy. So And then the other part of that would be like, okay, let's say we spend that money, but then this tractor trailer has to come into our driveway and then we would have to roll them across our yard and somehow get them <laughs> into the shed. Anyways, we were at breakfast one day, the day after we did our tax, I mean, the same morning we did our taxes and I just looked up online, three quarter inch, stall mats near me because I was like I don't want to pay for shipping we didn't want to pay for shipping so it's a lot and then we found out tractor supply has them yep the exact size we need yeah at like what 40 46? I think they're like 48 dollars a mat so it's honestly still about the same price for but there's no shipping yes we can drive up there pick it up yeah throw it in the back of her Toyota Camry Corolla <laughs> on the top of it like we talked about that's true um, yeah, but it would be like $600 for all of the things yeah. that we need. So that's, some, that's a good way to save And we some... would get them that day. Yes. We'll talk more about the shed once once we actually finalize everything. We're going to put a whole new video up about... Like just the shed. Like just the shed. We'll and sit down be, and... Yeah. That'll be a cool part of that. Of like a, Maybe we'll do like a mini series um, along with two others that I want to start. Mm -hmm. Anyways. So why a shed, Jim? Yeah. So we've we caught... We've caught and heard about some flack, like why Why would you, so we were doing CrossFit and people were like, why would you leave a gym to build your own? Like you're gonna spend just as much money as you would in CrossFit gym as you would in the gym. Yes, initially, yeah, absolutely, that's 100% true, that is factual, you can't argue that. Right. However, in the long run, um, this is gonna save us some money as well as give us the ability to, ha to own our mm -hmm. own stuff, own equipment. Um, it is, it's gonna give us an opportunity to um, invite people over. We can train people here. Mm -hmm. We can have friends come over and train. We can kind of introduce people into how we like to work out and how we function um, with our fitness programs and regimens and all that stuff. Right. But then if, I mean, if they wanted to work out, then they could come work out yep. however they want. So it's just honestly something we wanted to do. Like, yeah. I don't, I don't understand why people get so invested. Like it wasn't a personal thing for us to to like leave certain or certain um, like institutions, it was solely because we wanted to save money to do this. Right. And so it's it's hard for people to understand it if they're not directly involved in it. But right. we just don't care. I mean, we want to do this. We definitely. I don't know. I, it was hard leaving. We miss the people. We have great relationships with the owners and the mm -hmm. members. But for us, it was just much bigger picture. I feel yeah. like we're pretty big picture people and. The house that we live in right now, we're going to live here for a very long time, if not forever. And so we want to develop kind of an environment that we can perform in for the rest of our lives, including a gym. Yeah. So that's going to just be a big piece for us. And that's just phase one. Eventually, we're going to concrete the entire <laughs> backyard. And there's no there's no like bad blood between uh, anyone about that. Just some people had a different opinion as to what we had. So I don't want to make it seem like that. We're like, oh, screw mm -hmm. that place. Screw them. We're not, we're not saying that at all. Like yeah. she said... We love, like, we have some of our best friends came out of there. We learned a lot about ourselves. We got married when we were in that gym. So mm -hmm. it's, we don't, I don't want to sound like we're, oh, screw them. Like I said, we're doing this for us. It's all that matters. We, we want to do this. That's pretty much the primary reason. Right. All right. <clears throat> dream job. What's your dream job? My dream job would be to work for myself, whether that be fitness coaching, life coaching, Whatevering. I just want to be able to wake up and work from home. But probably in the fitness industry, though, mainly. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I'm kind of along the same lines, but honestly, I would love to be able just to continue making content uh, based around training and fitness lifestyle. And our lives. 
Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it sounds it's it is very superficial. It's like oh, everyone just that's because you just want people to pay pay your way. I just I disagree, and the people who say that would be people who you know grew up in the 70s and the 80s who were not in a very technological generation. We are. This Let me is tell you what, this is a career. This is not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. In hours it is of editing. it is a, I mean, I'm not putting out like IMAX quality stuff here, but it, it takes time and courage. Like you not believe the looks people give you when you walk around a gym with a camera. Like what? That's true. And I get it. We're not trying to be rude. I don't want to bother anyone or throw anyone's routine off. I do I think I do a pretty good job of it honestly when I'm filming <laughs> and when you're filming. Um, but you got to get over that stuff and it, that's hard. It's hard. Like yeah. it's hard. It's easy to say, I don't care what people think. And then it's one thing to actually not care what people think. So, right. Last question. If you could work out with one famous person, who would it be? Famous? Like everyone knows them or? Yeah. We'll say mainstream famous. Mainstream famous. I'm assuming that's what they went. That's what they meant. Dwayne Rock Johnson. Dude, I was going to say the same really? thing. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. I swear. Okay. <laughs> okay, how about underground famous person? Ooh. Like they're dead underground? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean like maybe not everyone, everyone knows who they are. Ooh. Oh, I can think of one for you. Rich Froning. Really? Yeah. I would have said Bradley Martin. I don't know. I mean, it's I would, but it's spectrums. Rich Froning. I yeah. mean, like... I can't hang with Matt Frazier, and I think he knows that, and he still wouldn't modify his workout. <laughs> Rich might be a little nicer, and like that's true. I have so. one male and one female. My male would obviously be Cody Mooney, oh. just so I could stare at him the whole time. <laughs> He's a good-looking man. If you don't know who that is, go look him up. You're welcome. But my female would be Brooke Ince. In a minute. Oh yeah, true. It's funny. These are all CrossFitters. We should have. But the, they're, they're. She has a bodybuilding background. No, no. Okay. Uh, let me phrase that. They, they're in the fitness industry, mm -hmm. but they are strongly towards the cross CrossFit side Style of training. training. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So then, if those are CrossFitters, then I would say for more more bodybuilding, uh, I would work out with. Mm, it's a toss up between Christian. And Callum Von Moger. Oh, I would probably say Christian. Thing is, you got to think about if you were all these people, like if you were out Matt Frazier, I mean, uh, Rich Froning, there's a chance that you're going to have Matt Frazier. Yeah. Uh, Tia. Mm -hmm. And if you work out with uh, Christian, Max may be there. And then all the other bros that could be there. See, you got you to gotta weigh the odds. But you work out with Dwayne. Dwayne Rock Johnson. That's all you need. Boy, one workout, you're done. <gasps> that gives me chills just thinking about being able to work out with him. That would be so cool. I just want him to yell at me. Focus! <laughs> okay, dude! Ah, okay. Ah. <laughs> all right, so I hope you enjoyed this. A little bit about us. We'll do another one mm -hmm. um, later on. Make sure. Any, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I'm dang, dude. I was just going to say, make sure to drop some questions below if yes. you have any additional ones or going into some of today's topics or whatever so you can find us sorry you can find <laughs> i'm so distracted you can find us on instagram at c underscore swites or christina k Schweitzer. it's Schweitzer, guys not switzer anyways sorry that's all i guess all right well i hope you enjoyed this like i said we'll do this again but until next time peace I've never seen an opera dance.